but this is uh, okay. So, I, I, I <laughs> so I, I think we don't have to know the story. Yeah, story of heartbreaks. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe in this day, day and age, in a, in a, in a affect, in affect what, mm-hmm. in affect what, especially the youth. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I feel in the to man who to answer. But now that can learn a story now to the end of this year. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another episode uh, of At His Feet Podcast. This is Dead First Pursuit, where we not only seek to know God, but also making him known. Uh, this February, we have been uh, looking uh, at the series of Godly Dating. Uh, we were going with the theme of love because of the month of February. And uh, because of that, uh, if you've been following us, we have been structuring our conversations uh, based on different facets of uh, dating. And today we will be looking at heartbreaks. How do you handle heartbreaks? So today we have a very special um, panel with us uh, who will help us to uh, go through this topic. Uh, we have Dr. Koki Kinagui with us uh, here, and then we have Duncan Kiplimo. Uh, these are our experts in heartbreaks today. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. No, experts in terms of like the topic. Oh. They are on a heartbreaking spree. Uh, so, Karibuni um, Sana uh, on set. Thank you. Yeah, so maybe to to answer na na kiplimo ama limo. Oyo wa sengi wa sengi waju wa na kuitanga ikaida. Don't say ma. Unaitu a dan kan kiplimo na wa sanga e uni na ni maybe unaza to answer something about yourself. Eh, my name is Dan Kan, but majority of the people are ni ta kaida. Kaida. Yes. Yes, karibu sana. Aha, Dr. Koki. Yes. Maybe when you need to introduce, oh. maybe people need to hear a little something about yourself. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, so I'm Dr. Koki, as mentioned. Um, I'm a medical doctor and public health specialist by profession. Uh, I'm a member of uh, AIC Milimani. Uh, I'm part, part of the counseling ministry in this church and other ministries. And yeah, I love interacting with the youth. I'm a wife, mother of a young adult and a teenager. Nice, nice. Yeah. Um, um, in a day and the age, yeah, uh, cancel culture. Mm-hmm. So, see, like, cancel, yeah. Uh, uh, Cancelling, mm-hmm. the right, helping. See, like, major matchups now. Keep going. I don't want to be done cancel. <laughs> yes, so um quite topic ya ya heartbreak. I think before to end the, the recording, uh oh. if you have ever been character developed oh. because I'm, uh, fortunately will you escape you. Uh but maybe Niki Angalia now from your perspective, who say develop character <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, I haven't. So the first person who came, I told you. Um, well, I think it needs, I think people need to understand, okay, when you ask for, when you're saying character development, what does it mean? Because uh, I don't think maybe disappointing somebody who had higher expectations mm. For a relationship necessarily is character development. It's maybe how you did it, mm. you know. Ending up in the friend zone mm. is that really character development, or might the how it's done? Because we those are experiences we go through. Mm. So maybe we need to start by saying to Akisema, "Meko a character developed." What exactly, you know? Okay, maybe yeah. in terms of Vileyo Swali Nimuliza, Nile, maybe you're dating someone. Yeah. And then at some point, mm-hmm. it could be the, this thing in Asia. Yeah. So it could be in terms of how you ended your relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe you did something. Mm-hmm. In, uh, it was um, 
ni kama ni betrayal mm. of, of yeah. that uh, love yeah. to that person and mm. they thought that eh hey, apa hapa mm. ni michezo vibaya sana in that perspective mm. Mm. yeah so um so we ask whether i've ever done that or experienced <laughs> As I experience, I say, my own experience. experience, I say, why you experience? I am to your experience. I am a little bit. I am a little bit. I Hey, Abba, uh, my character has mm. been developed. Mm. Ama, do you see it coming? Unona, from afar, this is where we are headed. Na, it will be bad. Ama, una, una shtukiamba tu. Everything you may open up at once. Mm. Na, una realize at this point now, kuna, kuna, zile don't like it. It was at that moment that he realized. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, like, at, at that moment, you can realize. Eh, apa ni mkuu character development? Ni mepigu wa mingi, so ina depend. <laughs> so, sasa kwa hizo ni ni kuseme like one yeah. that stood out. Uh, Yenye una feel like uh, because of this. Uh, if I am getting into a relationship with someone, mm. this particular one, I don't have to break you up before, but he, you need to look out for a relationship with him. Okay, you know, 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 you so anaweza ku multitask kuna moja yenye mingi angalia kwa simu nikapata kumbe tuko wengi hiyo yeah. ilikuwa OG nilijifunga yeah. on goal kuangalia simu <laughs> yeah so so that acha sasa tutumize like that sasa ni kama professional vacancy yeah um, if people are dating yeah uh, is it venye amesema tu aliangalia tu kwa simu mm. akaona wako wengi mm-hmm. uh, is it advisable mm. Uh, of course, kuangalia simu za watu means uh, there's an le- element of mistrust. Eh? You're not, you're not trusting that person. So you are checking because you are seeing there's some discrepancy. Vile anasema, vile anaact. Something is not well aligned. Uh, but then the question is: Is this somebody who is just a friend? Were you expecting more? Because we mese ma muli jikuta mukowengi, so is this somebody who is just? I mean, there is no commitment between the two of you, such that way you are you are looking uh, and seeing so much in this relationship. Maybe the other person, for them, you are just a, a friend. So, kuna some misalignment somewhere, which maybe now led to you feeling I don't think we are on the same page. Dio sasa ukangalia simu. Kuna, kuna watu wanasemanga mm. ukitaka relationship yako isimame mm. avoid simu ya mwenzako is that something that you can, you can advise uh, watu wenye they are dating if you are dating mm. yeah i mean if you are dating okay of course there is the openness that you will expect eh? i mean if if uh, you are dating and you are dating with the intention of we love one another and we want to get into marriage marriage you want to have a family together you see that is now where trust begins so why would you even be so worried about somebody looking at your phone eh una unatoka unaingia bathroom unakumbuka umeacha simu if like now for married people una unakuta you are running to get your phone that's not how it is or even if you are dating uh, you step outside briefly umeacha simu na kimbia ndani kuchukua because you don't know who will call you know those kind of scenarios just show that there is no trust but then at the same time uh, why are you going nini unatafuta kwa hiyo hiyo simu it, uh, it should just be a, a gadget that yes it's my personal private phone of course everybody has their own private life until you now become one so of course there there's the privacy you will be expecting but it is not 
you shouldn't be there mtu akishika hiyo simu the things that will be revealed mm. eh Groundbreak. yeah you know but there's the i mean i think all of us do expect to have some kind of privacy mm. but you are private about what what are you hiding in this phone if if you are ever to get in trouble or ever leave your phone somewhere can you ask your girlfriend or boyfriend nilete hiyo simu nilisa how you know those something like that yeah so maybe at at same before mm. before dating begins mm. remote same sasa unaenda umekatia deal Hmm. and then i'm going to reject hmm. uh, how how soon should you move to like you close that chapter and once you kuangalia mtu mwingine ina depends sana huyo dem dem gani mwenye amekukata ama mwenye unaende so obvious uki, uki approach dem uko na plan a b and c mm-hmm. hii kikata kwa huyu unaenda plan b mm-hmm. itajipa tu so sasa <laughs> Okay so in in your perspective mm. eh ni kama sasa when when you when you want now to get into the dating scene mm. uh, for you how wangali kwanza at in as much as of course we 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 advocate for dating one person at a time not like not multiple people at a time so for your case is ume, umeshawapanga Mm. and then sasa unaendea huyu akikata you move on you go to the next people you know you are saying persistent space persistence mm. so you okay, okay, keep on pressing itajipa tutapata ule mwenye ata so okay so e persistence ni kwa mm. hawa wote ama like huyu wa kwanza mwenye umeanzia ukianza kwa huyu wa kwanza you change the tactics go ki approach huyo mwingine <laughs> Okay what what we did eh that's it okay kama you are being an annoying kwa sababu unasikia ngati maybe ladies wameambiwa wa play hard to get mm-hmm. and then sasa ile umeenda ume face rejection it, at the back of your mind unajiambia ah, i know that game they are playing hard to get to get but maybe they are not mm-hmm. they just don't want you mm-hmm. and then you you keep pressing mm-hmm. so i don't know like at, at what point do you realize that eh hey, hapa hii hata si persistence hii ni kama ninaanza ku Okay maybe let me answer it in a, a slightly different way you see when you before you start dating you see you can't just see somebody and like them and decide i want that person to be my boyfriend or girlfriend you need to know who the person is you know you can love the physical appearance of the person but you really don't know anything so where is the room for just casual friendship getting to know one another before you get to the persistent dating bit na 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 hiyo ukiwa tu hapo unajua pia kuna ile point yenye watu wanaanga mtu anajifanya tu like um, i approach a girl mm. and because i can't ask uh, that girl uh, the first time i'm talking to her to be my girlfriend mm-hmm. we like tutaanza tu kupiga ma story mm-hmm. but i have a target mm-hmm. that i want her to be my girlfriend okay. and then we get to a point Uh, where nikimuuliza mm. then itakuwa this was the plan all along mm. so you don't want it to come out as uh, this is this is your aim mm. uh na imeonekana like from the word go but why not you see okay what is the intention of dating you want eventually to get a suitable partner mm. who you will marry settle down have a family isn't it yeah. so you need to enter the world so to speak with an idea of the kind of person you want to have a relationship with the kind of person you want to you see as my future wife my future husband now there's a pool of people so you have to start with the the pool sorry you have to start with the pool and you start by that that friendship hanging out talking you have to talk to many people you can't just see one person and assume 
So once you have in your mind, this is a kind of person, obviously as you interact, you'll start being drawn to a, a particular person who has those kind of traits. But remember, it has to be reciprocal. You may feel for someone who's not feeling for you. For you. And it's okay because everybody mm -hmm. has what? Taste and patience. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to be ready to try after seeing and interacting with that person and feeling, you know what, I, I want to get to know you better because I find you, you know, you're, you're the kind of person I think would be a good person to get to know. And who knows? what the future will hold. You see, they need to feel the same way. Mm. So it's it's good not to assume that automatically anyone you like will also <laughs> like you, yeah? Because even you, the others uh, who will like you and you don't like them, it, it, it works both ways. But if you've come from the point of we are just genuine friends, if we move on to the next level, it is okay. If we don't, it is still Okay. Yeah. We can still remain friends. Like in you and your neighbor are friend zone. Una una bakia friend zone. That's a good one. That's a good one. You and me are wakati them. No, it it may not necessarily be at the near me could reject. At a lab than where in the you may reject. But nonetheless, break up may happen. Yeah. Is it practical that? The same way go when you base there another lady when you die approach. Is it possible? So na do na depend to the deep state of mm -hmm. heartbreak and either will say you are kazi will slake. So Kaili kuwa uh kitumba ilifanya mka break up, you it afanya friendship at an easy make. So in a depend the scenario when you fanya mka chan. So now what 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 happens? Okay, maybe I'm not here for not when when I have had friends when I end up with any arrows. I don't want to say my friend is a guy. I'm not here for any arrows. Like we don't have any security. You are jahil. Yeah, I'm jahil, but I'm 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 feel like we are exotic. Ah, we're not going to chat with you. So that probably depends on how how they 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 broke up. So 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 I say me um when we we so so we when you we you want you want a girlfriend. Now the girlfriend is coming from a previous relationship. So you knew what either way same love that of the quack relationship or your okay, maybe that doesn't matter, but now for 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 the lady mm. uh and uh to say me a make up for how long like you are single and you say me well one of Kiriati to na in the layers as a could date now. Same I may break up now to like what's the period, time period in a way we never Around six months. Six months. Mm. <laughs> what I would say, Akuna time period, mm. is a process. Mm. You see, if somebody has broken up with you or you've experienced a broken relationship, mm. you have to grieve. There's, there's pain. Mm. Yeah? So, and there's anger. Those are human emotions. But you have to work through them. <clears throat> you work through them. You cry. Nazima kulia. Because if you really loved that person and really wanted it to work out, and if you knew this is a person, I think I want to have a future with them, you're invested. Mm -hmm. So if this heartbreak comes in, you break up, there's some rejection or whatever, you will feel that loss. Eh? Mm -hmm. So you must cry, grieve. You must, uh, you know, there's the anger. But... You need to also take time and ask yourself, how did we get here? Yeah? Because it's easy to think the other person is the one at fault, but maybe even you, there's something that you may have contributed to the kind of situation. Mm -hmm. So you think through it and use it as a process of 
improvement. Maybe you tried Ulysses anyway, you know. Actually, you know, there was something, but I overlooked. But now I know better that I need this kind of a person. This is So you use it as a, a learning process. Yes, it was painful learning. When you're, you will now get to the point where you are healed for you to. So I wouldn't put a time frame to it. I'd say it is a process because you have to grieve and get out of that one, see what you have learned, and even now start thinking, actually the kind of person I want is like this. I'm looking for somebody. Then now you start afresh with new eyes, the benefit of that painful experience, you pray, mm. you know, those kind of things. One party, I think, maybe the one that feels more aggrieved. Yeah. Like, and you're not even remorseful. Mm. Like, yeah. yeah, no, it's true. Would you find it? <laughs> and I watch news and then on a jaribu ku, ku, ku sympathize na same situation in ya meon. Yeah. Ati, oh, an earthquake ili happen wabi ika and then there were this number of casualties. I love wako like, ah, I don't feel anything. Like, on a jaribu ku relate, hey, I love wako feel I, I hit you. Oh. So maybe in such a situation when you have broken up, um, maybe just to show to show that uh, mm -hmm. are you also supposed to, to show remorse? <laughs> what I would ask, so need who who are you showing it for he drama because it becomes a drama now mm -hmm. that you're doing it's for the benefit of of who the situation you know it may not necessarily be for someone uh -huh. but also just managing your, your, your situation so that maybe mm -hmm. uh, if it's a it's a public relationship mm -hmm. for example okay uh, mm -hmm. privately yeah uh, na hiyo private mm. haujui kama wana date set una, unajua ati this one and this one mm -hmm. are dating mm. like you don't know so ikiisha pia inaishi huko mm -hmm. uko chini but then kuna wenye public date. it's public mm -hmm. and now it's ending mm -hmm. and you don't want it to look now ugly mm -hmm. in public mm -hmm. uh, so maybe now for 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 the public state because yeah. <laughs> it is for them also <laughs> Um, my personal view is uh, never do anything for the public. Mm. Deal with yourself. Deal with, with your heart, mm. the relationship, the two of you, because you're the ones who know where you started from, how far you've gone, and where you're, you're breaking up, mm. isn't it? Because you, you can't, unless now somebody does for you a kind of a public breakup, that's like, what would you do? You know, that, that is different. Eh? Mm. But if it's something where Mume ongea, whatever, as in it's not working, you deal with your pain, deal with the 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 anger and everything by yourself, processing. Of course, people will know you've broken up, but I don't feel you have to make a show of it because why are you making a show of it? Was there a relationship for show? Ama was it for the two of you? Because if it's for the two of you, the one Maybe the one who has caused it, yeah, so that one will recover very fast. But you who's the heart party, you you deal with your heart, withdraw, because it's good also to withdraw so that you can reconcile, cry. You know, there are some things you have to retreat. Eh? You retreat and, uh, you know, pray, ask yourself, where did I go wrong, you know? So don't worry so much about this other person. If this other person has no remorse, mm. you, you can't control other people. So me, I don't just say you deal with mm. you. You're the one who is suffering. And the people around, no people will always talk. They'll talk about you today. Tomorrow they'll be talking about somebody else. So you mm. talked about. Mm. For, for, for you, where, well, of course, my dear, you're, you're not married. <laughs> no, <laughs> just him on. For you now, how do you deal with with the heartbreak? So if you cut to Mali, this thing, 
inakuuma wacha hata ati story ya kuoga na kurudi soko uko at a period ya ku grieve how 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 would you now in in your perspective deal with the heartbreak mm. so in a depend so as a kulia is not the solution mm. utalia amekuacha hezi kurudia mm. Mm. so me i find unaweza pata somebody close definitely kwa relationship ulikuwa na mse alikuwa close so unamwa approach unamwambia kumeenda hivi na hivi na hivi i think opening up ina reduce your pain ya kuachwa yeah. but unaweza pata kuna ule mse si umemwacha like yes i may feel the pain but huyo mwingine haja feel anataka kufanya combo heartbreak ndenda ni, ni mchoche nimrudie then nimwache anaweza sema misi misi hezi waachwe unataka u revenge eh yeah, ndio i feel the pain yeah. so me i feel opening up is the best option then ujaribu kufanya kitu like inakubamba so sasa e, e opening up mm. actually hata hapo kwa opening up because now you are hurt like what mm. kind of message are you putting out about now your your ex now to the person you are opening up to are you painting Uh, a bad image about her kwa sababu you are hurt mm. are you pointing out even the reasons why am I okay unaweza sema sema tu chenye una feel utasema the cause of the heartbreak ni hivi maybe your best yako anaweza kupeleka ka out mwende mm. relax mm. like at least your pain juu kinyamaza unaweza fanya ujinga maybe useme ah girls are dogs mm. kama ni dem yeah, yeah, yeah. ah inakuanga Girls are dog alafu pia tunasema pia men are dogs we end up blaming bado wasi wanapigwa character development that's when i find mse ana kuwa shoga mse ana kuwa lele ju like aja open up aja find the solution so using this vitu wenye imekufanya uachwe like unaweza tumia ka a way of progress to upcoming relationship hiyo ndio itakusaidia i think there kuna there's there's a friend of mine i am sure ata watch it podcast alikuwa anasema ati uh, alikuwa anataka ku kwa sababu acha acha mtu mhm alafu huyo mtu akamwacha kwa ilimuuma to the timing issue ilimuuma sana alisikia vibaya na yeye ndo alikuwa anataka acha acha so i think you may pick from what you have said hiyo ya atunendo na mbembeleza mrudiane alafu sasa ati ndio ndio mm. muache in terms of like ni kama ni isikuwe ndio umeachwa eh usikuwe yeah and i don't know for ladies yeah. ikoaje but for for men in a feeling mbaya kama wewe ndio umeachwa uh, sometimes <coughs> kama wewe ndio umewachana it comes out as if you are the one who is in control mm. so i don't know if ladies have a perspective of that i think it's it's mostly actually just human nature to want to be in control eh? it's a control issue because you will feel you are the one who now made the decision mm. for the relationship to end the other person just receives it so it plays both ways but i think it also is determined a lot by people's personalities you know there are some people who like to be in control they want to um sort of not let things happen to them they are the ones making things happen such people whether it's a man or a woman will want to be the one like no now i'm the one to say this relationship imeisha yule mwingine anabaki akishangaa kwani kuliendaje yeah so it's it it depends but for me i would say in such a situation why were you even dating in the first place you know i think a lot of the challenges come because of why did you start dating because if you started dating with the intention of i you're not a stranger to me somebody i've been interacting with i've i've seen your character I, i've seen the values you have you look like somebody who i would want to have in my life right so you start dating chances are very few times will you find yourselves in that kind of a situation when you're like we leave the other first mm. you know because you are genuine so unless now something happens maybe who knows the various things that can cause heartbreak it have to be something that is not mm. planned eh? 
because your intention and the intention of the other person are aligned. Yeah. So I think that's where when you learn, remember you say you cry, grieve, you know, then it has to be a learning process because you have to say, what, what am I learning from this experience? I've gone to, oh, maybe I rushed this. Maybe I was not, even this person I could see from the beginning, maybe I wanted more from this relationship than they. Mm. Then you start telling yourself, okay, the next time I now know. So it's a, a, a point of learning and self-improvement, I would say. So, so, so I mean, in, in, in a breakup situation, yeah. most of the time, Utapata ladies, mm. uh, usually they are the most affected. Mm. Uh, na maybe dealing dealing with the with the heartbreak. Mm. Um, okay, I can't claim to to know how ladies should should deal deal with a, with a heartbreak. Mm. But most of the time, on the like how on you, um, it hits it hits most. Mm. Mm-hmm. So how how do they guard themselves mm-hmm. from uh, maybe people they feel like they could be manipulative to to them mm. and maybe even in terms of I don't know if people need to prepare just in case mm. um, people should just go on with life so now in terms of guarding themselves from okay. such mm. such kinds of men mm. uh, maybe how should they go about it okay so I would say um the first thing is uh, it's good for somebody to, to know themselves. You know, it starts by, uh, by self-awareness. Eh? Mm-hmm. Know the kind of person you are. Know what your strengths are, what you'd like in a partner. You know, when you know what you want, it becomes easier to find the right person because you know I, the kind of person I am, the kind of partner who would be a good uh a mate for me would be this kind of a person. So it starts by that. Then secondly, uh, we need to also make ourselves aware of red flags. You know, we are so used to looking at the physical, how somebody looks, because that's what attracts you instantly. You see somebody, you're like, yes, but you have no idea the kind of person they are, their character. It's not really love, yeah? So when you know what what to look out for and the things to pick up as red flags, it also makes you empowered. Thirdly, you have to take care of yourself. Uh, we have to know that there are people in this world who are not good. I mean, we know the devil will always work through people. So here, you cannot afford to be naive and say when you meet some very nice looking guy, you're like, oh, you know, now I, I always like a guy who does X, Y, Z. Eh, you know, I like a man who's like this, like this. Somebody will metamorphosize. <laughs> what is it called? You know, you change yourself eh? and present yourself because you've told them what, what you want. Kumbe nige manacheza. Instead of you Knowing what you want and looking and seeing is this person manifesting what I, yeah. So that's part of guarding. So that and then you you be cautious. You go step by step. I I can't meet you today and then next month we are dating. One month I don't know you really, mm-hmm. yeah. So trying to take that step by step because people reveal mm-hmm. themselves over time. So you need to be able to have that time to know and then decide do I want to get to know you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I, I mean human beings, you know, we are we we are complicated and we there are many th- what you see outwardly is not necessarily what is inward. There are some people who are very open. You meet them, they are an open book, but even them there are things you cannot know about them in one day or one week. And that's why we even say when you're dating somebody, be careful about how much you reveal about yourself, your family. And if you're the one who's always saying that them, they're not telling you in return, you also need to be asking yourself, why am I the one always sharing? I'm talking about myself. This other person is not saying anything about themselves. You're talking about your family. You don't know anything. You know, you have to move, you know, together. (laughs) 
Uh, how much? Mm. And I don't know if this affects also the decisions that people also make after a breakup. Okay. How much should you reveal mm. about yourself to someone? Yenye, if you guys break up, unajua ile siri huwa meenda na hayo ni ni mbaya. So maybe in that perspective, at even from a counseling uh, point of view, um, not necessarily even for the person who is revealing, but also the person who has received the, the, the information. Uh, like how how much should they take in? Uh, this thing is serious. Nah, in case to break up, like, Mimi najua information yangu yenye mwana nayo huko nje it is bad for me uh, so maybe uh, yeah. um okay um i would say again before you date you should be friends so you start with the you know friendship talking so these ones are i mean the things you know about each other are light mm. light things you know what you do what you like and so on but as you get into now you know as i was saying you need to be very aligned you need to be of the same mind with this person that we i think we've been friends we we need to make this we need to move a step into something more serious and we are dating with the intention of getting married right so that already uh, gives a shift in the relationship in the nature that you can start to be a bit more open with one another before you are just people who are interacting friends the way you can have friends outside not everybody has to know so when you make that shift and now we are like i think let's be more intentional and we see the end point is where marriage and you are both seeing marriage yeah so now you start to of course open up a bit more but again it's not everything just a bit more about yourself what you do and this person equivalently does the same if they share something, one of them shares something that is deep about them, you'd expect the other person to be to reciprocate. Because that's what it is in friendship. If I tell you something about what my fears are in life, I would expect you as my girlfriend or boyfriend to be able to also share. You see, so you are moving. So you don't find there's one who is over sharing. But still, because we know life is complicated, there are some deep things and deep secrets that you cannot share with somebody who you do not have a commitment with. And that commitment is marriage. Because when you get into marriage, it's for better, for worse. So this is where also premarital counseling comes in. Because when you go for premarital counseling before you get married, those are some of the things that you're able to discuss. And if there are more things that can be revealed, they are revealed. You see, now that's part of now bringing you together. But now you start revealing things when you are still friends. You know, it, you, you, it becomes a problem. I don't know if that has, has helped. Yeah, so, Limo, yeah. Uh, in terms of your like, decisions that people make uh, mm. after a breakup, uh, from, from your point of view, uh, what would make a man commit suicide? Hmm. The investment I may make to the ledge. Hmm. Obviously, we'll do everything. Just squeeze you and say, "Mama, pens in a transaction." Pesa ikisa, they walk out. You are squeeze respect your waze imeisha. Unapata. So like, bypass waze you already got a pathway. Apana, like squeeze competition imekuwa. Kitambo tulikuwa tunaishimu waze, but squeeze. Unapata demu wako wako na mzee bwa na unashindwa. Mtu mwenye unafaa kumuita mzee, unafaa kuita baba nani, mm. but amenda na mtu. Mm. So imekuwa transactional. So like, uh, depends also pia on bile mtu ame, ame... Invest with the relationship. Na how far? How far? Alafu pia ina depend. Atuwezi sema, the secrets mme share. Yeah. Uneza pata mse ana any other alternative. Mse like alikuwa mechukua uyu dem for better for worse. Mi sina issue mkishare the secrets zenu mkiwa bado in dating. Mi I prefer that unapata the secrets and yawezi mwambia during dating, I realize during marriage in a cause breakups. 
So I prefer at least mkuwe genuine. Wewe unasema ni hivi na hivi kwetu tuko hivi na hivi. Jutapata we are not talking about relationship, dating relationship heartbreaks. Unapata pia relationships msee ako ina asha kuwa married but wanaachana. So we are still looking both dating and marriage. Na sasa unaanga maybe ukikuwa rejected. Kama huyu wa juzi ali rejectiwa akajinyonga akasema huyo ex a read the eulogy during <laughs> the marriage during the burial and as equal valentines geologist yeah so uh, kuna kuna wana hii like rejection ina happen mm. ina happen and then i don't know what happens but maybe in the months perspective the man's mm-hmm. mind mm-hmm. uh, the lady stops becoming beautiful mm. uh, so umepasu umepasu and then i'm going reject and then now so sa reaction yako ni like me instant like we kwenda huko nadhani ni wewe mpeke yako na kuanga hivyo hata sijui uko na kichwa kubwa nini so unaona Mm. Uh, unaanza ku project so what um, is it is it maybe uh, something that uh, people i don't know if it's a character issue ama um, maturity maturity yeah. so does someone stop maybe being beautiful in, in your eyes not generally of course generally at at baki watu watamuona tu venye alikuwa anamuona but now in your, in your eyes akikukata aki maacha kuwa mrembo mm unajua na depend with the anger designer me ku reject mm. unajua madem waki, wakiwa kwa mbogi wanakuanga so powerful anataka kuziona mtamu mm. so dem kama wewe unatafuta somebody better than her atarudi akutafute another podcast i was watching you can say that ah kuna mimi naitonga the way madam anakuwa amejipanda ati kuna kitu ito a grenade kuna ile ito a reke school so kama ni ku ku reject kuna kuna pia mishot ganama ni ni like mara moja tu utafeel tu ah ngume rejectiva ah sniper and then uh, kuna hii ya reke school reke school ni ile yenye hautampata akiwa peke yake si anajua unakuja amejisurround na mabeste wake sasa before hata umfikia au mabeste wake wameshaku wameshaku diffuse unarudi kama ulikuwa na approach yote una una toka ukienda but um, essentially uh, i think maybe for for our i don't know maybe generation i don't know if it's a generational issue as well uh, the way we we deal with rejection and heartbreaks do in a, in a end up at a same yo the extreme side here we are committing suicide uh, kama wewe mwenye anaziko <coughs> valentines day na nataka mwenye ali reject uh, asome the eulogy mm-hmm. but sasa um, this uh, heartbreak issue you know when we are in a chat setup they teach us a lot about about love about relating uh, with one another uh, but really mm-hmm. do we have discussions about even how to, to to navigate issues to do with your heart breaks yeah. and you knowing that your friend and if it's your heart break how do you also handle uh, that person so i don't know maybe now from a counseling perspective uh, you have a friend and the heart break you are what's what's the approach sababu wengine utasikia tu like me I, i i may not be sensible naenda na mwambia imagine you see the name peke yake utapata mwingine na labda kwake she was everything 
Uh, so now, how, how do we now, from outside looking in, handle our friends who are going through heartbreaks? Okay. Um, okay, let me answer it in two parts. Let me first talk about, before the friends, about just heartbreaks. I think maybe people may be exposing themselves to too much, um, let me say, unnecessary heartbreak in the sense of you are rushing for serious relationships that are not ready to be serious. Yeah. So there's also that element of maybe you, you're being premature in this kind of relationship. It's just a casual relationship, but you have overinvested in it alone. Remember, I was talking about being aligned. So that uh, is something where we now say people have to learn to guard their heart. Yeah. Now, your friend comes and, uh, you know, how do you help them when they've gone through rejection? As I said, it's a loss. So there's an element of grieving. So you have to let somebody cry. There will be anger. You have to let uh, people express themselves and they need to know it is okay to express that. You know, um, women are good at offering each other a shoulder to cry on. Men, men tend to be quite rough. You're like, you know, why are you, hey, you know? It's like you are, you're, you're not, your friends are not allowing you to show that vulnerability and the pain that you felt, which is not right. It's important to recognize there's been a loss. You have felt pain. You had invested in this person. It has not worked. So as a friend, allow them and tell them it is okay, yeah? To feel the way you are feeling. It is very normal. Give them the time, the space. Allow them to talk, yeah? And now that is where you also now encourage them and, and remind them, yeah, okay, you had these plans, but you know, it has not worked out this way. So these are time to pray and ask God to direct your steps because you don't know why this heartbreak has happened. You don't know where this person, mm -hmm. where you would have ended up. In human eyes, you mm -hmm. thought this was what was mm -hmm. right for you. But when you submit to God, you'll say, God, I, I, I'm really hurting, I'm in pain, help me, you know? go through that and then now show me what I can learn from this mm -hmm. and help me get the right person for me, yeah? And, and, and then also uh, uh, as, as friends, you know, people will be like, ah, you'll get another one, you'll get another one, you know? But maybe even somebody, I mean, people, not everybody's going to be in a relationship. There are those who will be, uh, single and maybe that's what that's the kind of life they will have that's also not bad so when you start telling somebody maybe they'll decide for me right now I don't want to get into a relationship but a friend is busy saying ah get another one and get an even better one you see now you are you are misleading eh? so I think we need to as friends is to hold them remind them that God loves them remind them that yes it's painful and you have a right to feel the pain feel it you know be angry but again, remember we are Christians. Remember, there's uh, there's who we pour our, our pain, pour our pain to, through to. So you know, God says, you know, He's close to the brokenhearted. He lifts those who are crushed in spirit. When you are rejected, you are crushed. It really will crush you, right? Yeah. Your self-esteem is gone. You're wondering what did they see that I can see now? What will everybody think? It you, it, yeah. it breaks you. So you take it to God. Meaning maybe in terms of how people view things, yeah. sometimes they see life as a movie yeah. where you're like, ah, ati, uh, uyo menini, uh, amenyumiza. God atadil na he, atakuja realize that, uh, alifanya makosa, um, and then atarudia, or maybe ata kitu ya ume, umewachia na umetupia, umeongelea story ya investment, sindo, mm. in terms of, uh, what what you have put in it could be emotional or even financial, and someone else comes. Mbaba when you say ma. Kwanza beshte ya kuyo ni uchungu. Eh, I have said ni beshte ya kuamikuja. And then, where were you 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 thinking uh, that what God has in store for me? Ati, apambele. If I look at the because of money, mm -hmm. God anenda kuku bless. Upate domingi, alafu ndio ee, penyalienda realize, ee, uku pungine doi mikuja, so asikia vibaya pia kiwa. 
Skiv bae na uko. Yeah, skiv bae na uko. So, there is also that tendency ya kuwa, ya, ya ku feel like, um, because you are hurt now, yeah. um, God will fight for you. And of course, God always fights for you. But, pia God, siyo enimi wa uyo, mwenye, God is also, loves that mm-hmm. other person. Yeah. So, in as much as, he's fighting for you, you're not waiting on, God to crush the other person. Crush that person <laughs> at your peer skills, but mm-hmm. and as I end up in a very happy marriage, mm-hmm. Ugo, and then oh, bado mbaki na bitterness. God agi kufaiti ya. And that's what I was saying. It's important when there's a breakup. Mm-hmm. People will always want to blame the other person, but you also need to use that time for reflection, also for yourself. Kuna kuna vile ome contribute eh? mm-hmm. kwa yo in one way or another. There may be. There may be. So there's a learning in there for you because human nature will want to blame the other person, but use it as an opportunity. Okay, are your heart, Amanda? So you want, you know, them to be punished. That's the human nature. But you see, when you sit and reflect and use it as an opportunity, you'll start to see maybe things you should have done differently. Maybe there's a way will contribute quite to. Maybe there's something you saw and you thought you will ignore. It comes to bite you in the, you know. So at the end of the day, use it as, yes, be annoyed, be, but you lose that, Amimi, kuna venye. How did I get myself into, <laughs> into this situation? And what can I learn so that it doesn't happen to me again? I become a better person, you know, learn now what to look out for. Because there are people out here who are users, you know, and if they see a very nice person, hey, you think they will want to leave you? No. Who doesn't want a nice person in this life? So even the bad people want good people. So you have to, <laughs> isn't it? They want to use you. Yeah, so you have to guard yourself. Yeah, and and um, learn from the negative experiences. So, so maybe as we, we wind up on this uh, issue of handling uh, heartbreaks, maybe so Sawakati, um, you have you have been you have seemingly been rejected mm. and you want to move on now to, to someone else. Mm. Una Juli anza a podcast controversial same on a line up. Do a kikata kando in the uh in that in that in that sense mm. um there is now even the, the, the public image which I think uh, it's important for you also to to guard, yeah. but it's also important for you to to also move on uh, to someone else. So wakati who you are mukata, and then umendea mungine within within the same circle because uh, probably most of the people that you 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 are interacting with, like me with him. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you navigate like is all like unajaribuku katia wato uwa kikata wapili uende watatu but you are also trying to guard your image uh, that is your nekane pia nkama uh, like you are on wewe ni kimbi kimbi wewe ni kimbi ama wewe ni kisi like here yeah. mm. how do you try and do that okay kwanza mambo ya love kwa lungs ndio uta utapata heartbreak 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 unajua heartbreak ni heart alafu unaenda break kuweka mtu kwa ro so unajua na semanga hata mtu mwenye aliunda lights alijaribu na ilikuwa 99.99 999 times Alafu pia tuna, tuliambiwa kwa Bible la kuna mse not everyone will marry. Mm-hmm. Alafu bado tunakuja tunaambiwa ratio is 1 to 7. But but unajua hiyo ratio 1 to 7. Mm. Actually <laughs> this is my thing. Yeah. Wakisema ati the ratio of men to, to ladies ni 1 to 7. Mm. Remember kwa kwa 7 your sisters are there. Sikatai. Your parents are there. Your cousins kuna watu wenye wako jail mm. kuna wenye wako 
maybe in a mental hospital kuna wenye uh, maybe those who are not set for marriage mm-hmm. when they have decided to be celibate umesawa <laughs> kukudenza <laughs> but you see now those is only outliers urona mm. uh, so it, it probably may not it doesn't probably paint the whole picture at the seven women out there waiting for you to pick mm. uh, okay but kuna definitely kuna mwenye atakupenda mm-hmm. okay pia unajua point of correction mm. So amesema ati uwezi ona mse na umpende. Yake hajapata mtu mwingine but yake so yako love at first sight ni scam. <laughs> no what I meant at uh, it's you can't call it love. Mm-hmm. What you will call it is lust. Yeah or you know just you like somebody so much but love you can't see somebody and say you love them. You're loving what you are seeing but we are more than our physical outward ni outward eh? mm. and when you read the bible what does the bible say and that's one of the verses i wanted to read eh? <laughs> let me Maybe read it hata iko hapa ndikwa nimeandika unajua na semanga vitu zina attract like terms attract so unajua one of your rib is missing so maybe you are attracted to them because hiyo ni rib yako unaiona immediately eh ina connect <laughs> Maybe you you tuna itanga kismat. When you say love at first sight. Yeah. Uh, it's like at first sight. Is it, is it when when someone tells you they love you mm-hmm. at first sight? Mm-hmm. Uh, is it now um it could it be true mm-hmm. that it's, it's love at first sight mm-hmm. but it's you now the the physique mm-hmm. and not you the person. Yes. So that also Yeah, that's what I would say when you say I love. You see love is what you, your eyes have seen. Mm. I love that. You, there are things you see are like I love this, but it's the outward appearance mm. which is part of this person, but it is not the whole person. Yeah? So, so it's, our, it's an aspect. It's an aspect and it's the one that draws you fast because you will not really want to know more about somebody unless of course there's that physical attraction so there's the physical first you're like mhm then you want to get to know more in anzanga if you yeah yeah even me when i met my husband it was the physical first and then now you you're like oh that guy okay and then now unaanza ku all of you like ilikuwa tu hivyo yenu mlikuwa na tips acha tulikuwa na tips tips mlikuwa mnatumia live language so basically in summary what what it is is you have to you you would never uh the physical starts and attracts and then now with time you get to know this person know how they are so that's I'm um, like that process where's he, where's he skip if you go too fast that's how you run into heartbreak because you've loved somebody because of how you saw them but the person is a totally different person the way they behave and all that is not then you get one heartbreak aya uki jump hapo unaenda nyingine are you seeing how you are not taking time to discover that oh i should have taken time next time i need to be a friend kwanza nianze kujua ni mtu mgani hivyo so una line up heartbreaks because of how you you jump eh? and then also there's this thing of uh, i mean you can't approach one girl and then now uh, akikukata unaenda kwa friend yake you, you know you you also have to be organized as a person what do you want is it that you just want to be in a relationship ama you are liking that person because of who they are you know you could just be wanting to have a relationship to tick a box i remember when i was uh, in campus there's a guy who approached me but he had approached my friend first so of course i never gave him a second ilisha hapo No but sasa na yeye alianza na friend yangu alafu na you start with me first then but, but sasa eh, daktari yeah. kama ameanza na friend yako eh and then sasa atakuona alafu anakuja na niona eh alafu ah hiyo that was not meant to be so you know one it was not meant to be you see and you see i think in reality we also have to know in life there are people you will meet you will like but you'll never develop into anything yeah, yeah? you will like them they are good people but that chemistry the you know it'll never and it is okay because you can be good friends 
But if you imagine everybody you see, you must have a relationship with, you go wrong. But if you are like, this one is a good friend, and you understand each other, you 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 have maybe if you are schooling together or you are like here in fellowship together, you are just good friends. It doesn't go beyond that. That is okay. Could now you later end up beyond eh? and then you. But of course, as we are saying, have that plan. Both of you want to get into that relationship and end up in marriage. What I wanted to say about love, because sometimes we get confused. First Corinthians 13 will always remind us what love is. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. If you see somebody on day one, you will never be able to know. It's a process. That's when you can start to see this, of course, we are not perfect as human beings. We are striving, but you know, somebody who is working towards this, you'll be able to tell as you go through with time. Day one, Trust the process. Trust the process. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. trust process like we to break. <laughs> no, but you end up pole pole. You are trusting the process and you are guarding your heart. So your process ni yo kama ukiwa na one to seven. You are trusting the process kwa hiyo hawa seven utapata mmoja. No. One is your lucky number. Huyu anataka kwenda one after the other like that. <laughs> uh, I think okay. Uh, maybe for me uh, this conversation uh, we have it a lot uh, in terms of we usually have what we call Esther and Joshua. Yes. And it's something that maybe we never uh, get to conclude uh, upon. But also, I think different people have different ways of dealing with heartbreaks. Yeah. Uh, but it is also good to, to listen to uh, how others are, are doing it in as much as yours is also unique. Mm. Uh, not everyone is heartbroken the same way. Mm. Not everyone feels heartbroken the same true, way. True. Uh, so however it hits you, um, there is always a way out in terms of how you, you, deal, you deal with it. So maybe for me, I would want to ask each of you maybe to say something uh, relating to the topic uh, on how to deal with heartbreaks uh, to the audience as we conclude. Um, but of course, we would want the audience to always ask us questions even on the, uh, on the chat section so that we can also compile all these questions. If we find maybe a question is worth having a podcast discussion uh, on it, mm -hmm. we also hopefully invite you, you guys back so that we uh, continue to uh, to break it down, not the, the heart. Yes, so maybe what, what would you want the audience to know about dealing with heartbreak? Dealing with heartbreak, okay. I'd say it's a hazard in life. <laughs> as long as you are living and you love, you can always get heartbroken. The question becomes um, how you will deal with that and how you will uh, guard your heart even as you get into subsequent relationships. And even if you've not gotten your heart broken, how you can guard yourself now so that you don't break it, you get it broken because of circumstances that may be within or without your control. So one, um, it's a loss, so it is okay to grieve and please do cry yeah, there'll be anger to process, of course, do that. But also take time to reflect and figure out how did you contribute to the situation you're finding yourself in because it becomes an opportunity for self-improvement, self uh, continuous learning, yeah? And then, of course, prayer. God is the one who helps heal our heartbreak, yeah? So you'll be crushed in spirit. God is there. You see, he's close to us. Again, we should not be anxious, yeah? Because we said, the Bible tells us, do not be anxious eh? in everything. Yes, 
So don't worry about where will my next partner come from, you know, my next girlfriend. No, no, no. You know, pray and, and ask God to guide you and to give you wisdom and to know how you can get to know the right person for you so that you're guided. Because in, you, in your mind, if you know, I'm looking for this kind of a person, this is what is important for me. These are my non-negotiables in a person. You will eliminate so many people, you won't have heartbreak because you'll see somebody coming, you'll be like, yes, you're good, you look good, but there's something in you for me that's a non-negotiable. And so let's just remain friends. We can't move to the next. So that's, I, I would encourage us being very clear about non-negotiables, knowing also red flags. Before you get that far, there are some red flags that start showing so early, but because you are blinded and because maybe everybody around you has a boyfriend and a girlfriend, you also want to still stay with your boyfriend and girlfriend who has so many red flags, eventually it's going to end in heartbreak. So when you start to see, you need to be able to say, Hapa, hey, let me guard my heart. What I need you to do? Haraka, haraka before niumie. Yes? So, and then finally, being able to talk. We, counseling is there, yeah? To be able to go through this heartbreak. If you have heartbreak, yes, it's, it's painful. And people process pain differently. Some, it hits them a lot harder. Others recover quickly. That is the nature of, of human beings. So, getting help is important. So seek counseling, seek the support, and you have somebody who will walk with you that journey, and you find yourself, ah, now you are really, you know what you are looking for when you get into the next relationship. So I think that's that's how I would uh, wrap it up. Yeah. Wrap like Mimi, for me, character development lazima utapigu. There is no any other alternative when you utahepa character development. It's upon you, and there is no perfect match. At you, at you, anasema nga at you wako at a fall from heaven. Na uki commit suicide, siya tutako memkufia. No, it's true. So, like, uki pigwe kitu, ka angumu, like, just open up, Imambo, imambo ni adunia. You leave the flesh. Hata akiringa, aku reject. Ye ni mchanga. Hata wata huku tawana huko juu. So, mimi. Okay. Kwa wale watukaa mimi tumepigua character development. Uh -huh. Let's pull up our socks to change game plan. Uki reject you. Hi. Manze chuka ngumu lakini. Like for me, miu se mama demo evolve. Ju uki cheki scenario lenye situ mababu zetu. Mse akukua na viatu. Ameva mangu imeraruka. But unapata dema na mkufia. Na unapata alikuwa na mademu wawili. Na yuko question mark sa hiyo na vaje ifo na una mtu. Okay. Ukiva Air Force on a semon of force issues. <laughs> Peace, <laughs> Neon Unicona. Quite for basically, Ukiatra, I think. Yeah, yeah, don't force. <laughs> Take care of yourself, love yourself. Who see you miss it because of somebody else? Hey, please, no. Mm. 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 So, thank you so much for joining us uh, uh, this day. And See you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>